Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my silver Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to take screenshot. Also, we have seen how to take screenshot of any web element. Now see, when we take full screenshot in Selenium, so it will cover this part, right? But our website is not this much only. If you scroll down, so remaining part is here, right? So remaining part of website is here. So for that purpose, we have to scroll down. Suppose we have to take screenshot and that part lies here suppose we have to take screenshot of this part so for that purpose what we have to do we have to first scroll and then we have to take screenshot right so for that purpose we require scrolling in this video we will see how to do scrolling in selenium so see this website i have opened in web browser in chrome browser now see here I have written code to launch Chrome browser and here in that browser I am opening this website. Now see, to scroll in Selenium, we have to take help of JavaScript code. That means by using JavaScript code, we will scroll. Now see, in Selenium, there is one class called a JavaScript executor and by using that class, we can execute that JavaScript code. So first we will see that code. See, in Selenium, we have one class called as javascript executor executor suppose so we are creating one object and this is the driver right we have to type cast this driver to this type this is class name. so see here we are type casting this driver object to javascript class Now see, it is showing red line, so we will import javascript executor from this package org.openqa.selenium. So see, we have imported that package. Now see, we have created this object. Now by using this object, we will execute javascript code. So how to execute that? So see, for that purpose, we have to call one method dot execute script. This method we have to use. Now see here there are two parameters, but one parameter is sufficient. So in double code, we have to write JavaScript code. Now see these two lines we have to use. First, we have to create object of JavaScript executor class. We have to typecast this driver object, this driver object to JavaScript executor type. So this is a class, right? So we have to typecast this driver object to this class type. And by using this object, we have to call one method execute script. And in double quote, we have to mention JavaScript code. Okay. Now see, uh, from where we will get JavaScript code to scroll. So see, here I have opened this website. Now inspect this. This is called a developer tools. Now see, we can run JavaScript code here on console. So here we can write JavaScript code and that we can execute. Now see, to scroll, we have to call window dot scroll. This is a method name, scroll. And in bracket, we have to pass parameter x and y coordinator. Now see, suppose I am writing 0, 400. So this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate. Now see, if I press enter, so here you can see it is getting scrolled, right? Suppose if I write, so see uh, again, I am taking on the top and window dot scroll and in parenthesis we will mention zero x coordinate. So we don't want to move left and right, right? So that's why zero. We want to move vertically along the y axis. That's why y coordinate. Suppose I am mentioning thousand and press enter. So see it got scrolled down. Right. So in this way, we can scroll by using this JavaScript code. Now see what we have to do. Just we have to copy this. We have to copy this code and this code we have to mention here in this double code. Like this. Now see, we will run our code and we will check. So here you can see. So see, it got scrolled down. So better what we'll do, I will add some slip just to check. It is not required actually, just to check whether it is scrolling or not. We'll add two second slip, two second time. 
waiting time. Now see. So it requires it is showing red lines. So we have to add through the declaration. Okay, it has added. Now see. Again we will run. So see browser got opened and it got scrolled down. Right? So in this way we can scroll down in cylinder. In next video, we will see how to scroll down any table vertically like this and any table horizontally like this. So that we will do in Selenium. So friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.